cross-contamination, that's a contamination of raw material, of bulk, of intermediate product, of finished product with other material. And how can this contamination now occur? For example, by release of dust, of gas, of steam, uh, for example, by residues on your, uh, on your protective clothes, by residues on the equipment. And what's now critical, and we are in the biological sector here, and the European GMP guideline, for example, says, okay, cross-condemnation of uh, biological material is of high risk. So not only contamination of product with other product, also take into consideration, okay, is there a risk of a batch with another batch of the same product? Both is risky, from my opinion. Uh, most uh, highest risk you have contamination of product with another product or of production steps with another production step might also be. I'll give you some examples in the next slides. <clears throat> Here's an example, very easy one, just uh, to, get, to give you an overview. That's during a weighing step. So you're weighing some uh, excipients or you're weighing some raw material. And we have now here a weighing area, not a sterile production area, just a weighing area. And uh, we are weighing, for example, excipients or some other um, material that's used for the manufacturing process in weighing room one. And uh, dust is created, the dust cloud goes out of the room because, okay, this black, black box here should be a, a door. Uh, so doors open, dust cloud goes out into the floor. Uh, to production room two, and in this room, you are just weighing a batch of product B or uh, raw material B. So at the end, uh, what's the cross contamination? You cross contaminate it here with the dust cloud coming from production room one. Uh, so raw material A, for example, which was weighed or is just uh, being weighed in production room one, you cross contaminate uh, the uh, product B from production room or weighing room two. So that's a cross-contamination between these different products, these different, uh, these two raw materials. And the guideline now says, okay, this is not acceptable. This is of high risk. You have to establish cross-contamination prevention concepts. And so if you look into the CFR and into the other guidelines, you can see, uh, how the prevention of cross-contamination can be carried out. So some technical and organizational actions are proposed. So what are examples for those actions? For example, you uh, produce to your site a solid uh, product and a biological product, also, also a sterile product. So now would be a good idea to separate the production areas uh, in two different buildings. So you have a building for and a department for the solid production, you have one for uh, biological production, for the production of uh, sterile products, for the production of uh, a biological medicinal product. So, uh, if you have uh, more than one product, for example, in the biological area, then you have, for example, a high risk and a non high risk product might be, for example, or you have uh, two products that should be not cross-contaminated, then you can separate also these production areas from each other, might also be. Next actions could be production and campaigns and the establishment of protective closing systems. These actions I will show you on the next slides. And you can also establish lock systems or you can implement and uh, validate cleaning procedures. So not only the um, definition of cleaning procedures, but also the validation of your cleaning procedures are uh, cross-contamination prevention concepts. Production and campaigns, of course, uh, what is it? You produce batch per batch per batch uh, with the same equipment in the same room. And uh, in between, uh, you must define, okay, what should I do in between? Only a dry cleaning or special cleaning procedures you have to define. But uh, sometimes you say, okay, let's face a weighing room for, for solid raw material. Uh, how much batches can I produce in this room? After that, I have to carry out a so-called wet cleaning with, uh, yeah, with cleaning agent and disinfection, uh, for example. So that's the production and campaign 
uh, batch per batch per batch of the same product behind each other, avoiding cross-condom and preventing cross-condomination. 